Hey guys, today I'm driving to Trader Joe's and it's gonna be a feat for me because I am not, I'm an okay driver, but it's kind of a very busy road and I'm not like the best driver. Okay, I suck at driving, that's the point. I suck at driving, I hate it, it gives me anxiety. I like can't drive on the highway. I know I'm 22 slash 87 years old, but I just can't do it. It, North on Massachusetts. But you know, like new year, new us. And on this quest to be the best college graduate adult that I am, I'm going to master the highway this year. It's going to be like that meme of the person that tunes out and then they don't even realize that they got to their destination. They were like, oh, how did I not crash? That's going to be me. That's the vibe I'm putting out into this world, into this universe. Like we are going to be the best drivers ever. So I'm gonna drive. Continue on Massachusetts 138 South for three quarters of a mile. If I make it, we'll continue. If I don't make it, then ah. I made it to Trader Joe's by the grace of God. I've never gone probably above 50 miles per hour. And this is like a very busy almost highway. So it's a good transition into the highway for me. And it was a little intimidating. But I did it. So I made it. I didn't die both ways. And it was a very successful shopping trip. I wanted to, for a change, try to cook something too. This is like a day of personal growth. But I want to try to cook something, and I'm not vegan, but I wanted to make vegan butternut squash mac and cheese. I saw a recipe for it online, and it looked really good. So I'm going to try to make that. I got a couple of products that I think, well, a couple of products that I needed, really. I got this almond Danish pastry. It's phenomenal. And it tastes exactly like a croissant at this bakery in London called Gale's Artisan Bakery. I don't know if it's still around, but if it is, I hope. And if you're ever in the London area, definitely check it out. They had the best iced lattes and the best croissants. I'm not even a croissant guy, but are people, is anyone a croissant guy? I don't know. This is a struggle. I got some cherry tomatoes for my butternut squash mac and cheese. This is something that I'm really interested in trying, nutritional yeast. And this is gonna give my vegan mac and cheese the cheesy flavor. And thankfully Trader Joe's had it. I was kind of skeptical if they had it. It's high in B12, so if you are vegan, it's one of the vitamins that you're kind of missing out on when you become a vegan. So, I mean, I'm not a vegan, like I said, but I mean, look at all these vitamins. Oh. Why do they have vitamin D, calcium, and iron if it's zero, zero, and zero? Oh, zero percent daily value. But still, well, 310% thiamine looks interesting. These dark chocolate almond butter cups. Just get them. That's it. Unless you have a nut allergy, then don't. Got some nutmeg. And like, I don't like nutmeg, but it was part of the recipe. Eh. I also, I'm not about to pull it out because it's at the bottom of the bag. I got a three pound bag of Fuji apples. It's very important that you buy organic apples because they are on the EWG Environmental Working Group's dirty dozen of the top pesticide absorbent fruits. So you should buy organic fruit if you can. Okay, so next up, this is where this recipe could go wrong, but whatever. I got almond cashew and macadamia nut beverage. And the recipe called for you soaking cashews, but one cashews cost so much and I don't even like them really. So it was $7.99 for a bag of cashews and they were supposed to be raw cashews. And I was in the middle of Trader Joe's Googling if you can even eat raw cashews and it said probably not. So I got this because the recipe also required almond milk. So I thought, these two combined could provide that without me having to soak cashews. 
and I don't know what macadamia nut tastes like, but I looked at the sugars and they're zero grams, which will be good for mac and cheese because I didn't want to buy an almond milk that had sugar because I feared that it would mess everything up. Some celery hearts. I use it for celery juice, which is phenomenal for you. I did not buy the organic one just because of price, but I mean, mm. Ooh, are you ready for this? This is the greatest thing. I love kombucha, and I especially love kombucha from the Kombucha King, GT Dave. He is the best. He's so precise in his products. So I got his Aqua Kefir, which is one of his newest products, and it's pink grapefruit. At first, it's definitely an acquired taste, but then once I got used to it, I was craving it. So I don't know if it has something in it, like some nutrients that I'm deficient in, but it says, consumed for centuries around the world, water kefir culture is commonly referred to as grains because of their appearance, have been known by many names, including tibicos, Japanese water crystals, and aqua gems. Hmm. I don't know, but I love it. Here's a full haul, celery, wine, because it was on sale, and it, I used the app Favino, and it gives you the wine ratings, and it's among the top 4% of wines in the world, which I thought was interesting. I don't know, I just like trying them out and pretending I'm a wine person. Peanut butter, nutmeg, the amazing almond Danish pastry, almond butter cups, nutritional yeast, gluten-free brown rice pasta, Fuji apples, carrots, limes, kefir, and almond cashew macadamia nut beverage. So it's the next day now and my butter squat my butter squat? What? My butter squash... Is that what it's called? Butternut squash. <laughs> I don't eat squash usually. Um, my butternut squash mac and cheese went well. It was pretty good and pretty comforting. And then I did want to talk about Trader Joe's and the, where they source their products. And one of the reasons that I shop at Trader Joe's is because of the quality of their ingredients. Everything that's Trader Joe's branded in Trader Joe's is non-GMO. It even says it on their website, and they do third-party testing to confirm it. So even if you buy Trader Joe's peanut butter, and it doesn't say non-GMO, it most likely is, because if it wasn't, then it's false advertising. I'll put a link in my description, but they have an FAQ page about the products that they offer, and all of the ingredients, and where they source them, like natural, what natural means, the difference between homogenized and pasteurized and dairy milk, and what they can tell you about Trader Joe's eggs, all of these things that are important to know where your food is coming from and to ensure that it's the highest quality of ingredients. So yeah, I mean, Trader Joe's, I love it to death. And thank you guys for coming along with me on my driving journey. Also, I've lived in the city for a long time. If anyone's confused why I don't drive on the highway yet, it's because I lived in the city while I was in college. So from the moment I got my license to when I was in college, there wasn't that much need to drive on the highway. Thank you guys for watching. I post a new video every Thursday, and if you wanna see more from me, click the subscribe button, probably right here. It's a little circle with my face on it. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.